Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and we got a new pick for you today, Zacapa Resources. Z-A-C-A on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. Another junior miner of gold and copper in America that we think is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and we think it has an incredible future. They just raised $9 million. I've also interviewed the CEO. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, guys. So this is ZacapaResources.com. This is their website. You can see here, responsible exploration for the new energy economy. Arizona and Nevada, world's best address for copper and gold. This is their website. It's a pretty nice website. You can see they have quite a few assets that are going to be scrolling here. You can over look at the, click on the corporate and see about us and their leadership learn about their projects in copper and in gold and in the areas that they're focused in. So very organized website, breaks down their share structure, events, news, and corporate presentation. We'll go through the corporate presentation and then all their contact details. So everything you need to know right here on the website, okay? Discovery-focused, world-class jurisdictions. Zacapa is a new exploration company with drill-ready tier one targets, over 170 kilometers squared, in world-class copper and gold jurisdictions across the Southwestern United States. So you can see here, number one, Nevada Fraser Institute, investment attractiveness. And you can see Arizona is number two, Fraser Institute, investment attractiveness. And Idaho, number nine, Fraser Institute, investment attractiveness, number one, mining policy. And you can see all the areas of focus right here on the website at zacapparesources.com. Learn about all their projects in detail, the red top, the pearl, the dewdrop moon. These are all projects of significance. The South Bullfrog, the Miller Mountain, and the Tomichi. Now, we're going to take a look at the investor presentation. The CEO is Adam Melnick. He's the CEO and director. And I did interview Adam. Stay tuned to that interview. Now, you can see here Adam Melnick, the chief executive officer and director with 15 plus years of experience, corporate development, finance, investor relations, operations, and strategy natural resources, clean tech, investment banking, and consulting sectors. I'm telling you, I just interviewed him. Very sharp, very professional, very organized individual. BASC in geological engineering from the University of Waterloo. MBA in finance from Lazardis School of Business and Economics. You can see the chief financial officer, Lisa Pedersen, and her experience corporate secretary, and the investor relations and marketing manager. You can see all of the different institutions on the right, including Canaccord Genuity, RBC, and some companies, Libero Copper, so KPMG, so a lot of quality companies that this management has been a part of. This is the technical team. You can see the vice president of exploration, technical advisor, and exploration manager. And once again, you can see like huge names like Barrick, Anglo-American, just to name a few, Reno, Rio Tinto, Ivanhoe New Horizons, so some big, big names as far as experience and some directors here. Ian Slater is their executive chairman. And you can see some other directors as well. And once again, you can see the names on the right, 
big names, international names like Lafarge and some big names in mining. So you can see the share structure now, obviously here for us at our trading club, we really love companies with under 50 million shares and even under 100 million shares, but 50 million shares is our bingo share count. If you're under 50 million, that is a really tight share supply. Only 49 million shares with zero warrants. Last financing was at 50 cents a share for $9 million. 50% of the shareholders are high net worth. 27% are institutional. 23% are management and directors. So a lot of skin in the game with management. 30 million shares are subject to various resale restrictions and lockup and escrow agreements with various releases ranging up to 36 months from IPO anticipated in January, 2022. So this is a brand new IPO guys, put on your radar, put on your watch list, Zacapa resources, discovery focused with world-class jurisdictions. Now, what we also do, I one must remind you guys, the Rich TV Live, we have our own trading club and our own trading community where you can actually go at richpigsdaily.com and you can actually go and chat and talk about different trade ideas that we talk about. And our scrolling ticker here at the bottom, these are our own, propri these are our own proprietary trade ideas. And you can see how they perform today. And you can see all of our top trade ideas right here in our trending tickers on richpicksdaily.com. So if Zacapa Resources ever does have a big day, which we assume they will have many of them, you will see that scrolling not just on their own site, but also on Rich Pigs Daily. And if they become an active community chat within our website, you can click on chats and that's where you will be able to find them, ZACA. You just type in ZACA right here in the chat and they will pop up in the chat rooms. Now, I'd love to know what you guys think about these videos. If you like these videos, please smash the like button. Comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're live, you can see the areas of focus in Nevada, Idaho, Arizona, and Colorado. And number one from the Fraser Institute in investment attractiveness, the project in Nevada, the project in Idaho is number nine, the project in Arizona, number two, and the project in Colorado, number 13 from the Fraser Institute as far as investment attractiveness. You can see here is that Kappa is a new exploration company with drill ready tier one targets. We talked about that as well. So very, very popular tier one targets. You can see the Bullfrog Gold Camp is surrounded by Corvus, Augusta, Anglo, and Core. And the Idaho property is 50 meter wide gold bearing quartz veins. The Arizona property, two porphyry copper targets in the heart of the Laramie district. And the Colorado property, large 700 MT porphyry copper molybdenum resource. You can see the red top copper Arizona properties and areas of focus and areas of drilling and the red top deposits. You can see past producer, current producer and undeveloped. And you can see within the legend here, areas that were past producers and areas that are current producers and underdeveloped. Arizona is a premier mining jurisdiction and accounts for 75% of annual U.S. copper production. And the Laramide Porphyry Copper Province is second only to the Andean Copper Province. So a very, very copper-rich zone. You can see the red top copper in Arizona continued here.
It's an intense por porphyry style veining and alteration mapped at surface, extensive iron oxide cemented breccia and geochemical anomalies, large one kilometer diameter geophysical anomaly, historical drilling did not account for tilting, drill testing scheduled for the fourth quarter of 2021. And this is the red top copper Arizona drill plan. So you can see the pyrophyllite. And you can see the zones, cervical expression of intense quartz. So very technical for investors that are interested in very technical zoning and mapping of the properties and understanding exactly where they're going to be drilling and understanding previous zones that were past producers and areas that are currently undeveloped that they will be most likely drilling and pulling out out of the ground. You can see the historic mammoth district of the Laramide Porphyry Belt adjacent to BHPs, former San Manuel, Kalamazoo mine, a giant, porphyry copper molly bidenum deposit. Claims are contiguous with active Freeport, Mick Moran, and BHP claims. So some big names and areas of focus. And once again, you can see here the pearl copper in Arizona zone of porphyry alteration. So you can see the entire area and zone. You can see the geology vein traces. You can see the Sam Manuel pit and the occurrence or prospect and historic mines. And the 2021 Aster spectral analysis depicting areas of potassium feldspar alteration, large zone of porphyry style chlorite, epidote, sericite alteration, and copper rich polymetallic vein system at the historic Pearl Mine. You can see the favorable host rocks with up to 3.8% copper at surface, outcropping copper oxides extend for 650 meters. Potassium spectral signature of San Manuel is repeated on the property and mapping and sampling program planned for Q4 2021. So all of this is literally happening as we speak. You can see the dewdrop moon, copper, gold in Nevada. So you can see the areas of focus at the Urington district with 19.5 billion pounds of copper. Wow. Unbelievable. So you can see all the areas of focus. All the red zones are copper deposits. All the gray are altered Jurassic porphyry. And the dewdrop moon, which is in the legend on the bottom left, you can see the infrastructure, power line, road, and town. This is in Nevada. And you can see here a strongly metal endowed district with active mid-tier and major mining companies. Mining friendly jurisdiction, Pumpkin Hollow is the first new US copper mine in the last 10 years. So there's not a lot of copper mines, folks. So that's why there's so much interest in this region in this company and why you need to put Zacapa resources for copper and gold on your radar and on your watch list. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. But we really like Zacapa resources and we think that when you're talking about junior miners and you're talking about gold and copper, you should be thinking about Zacapa resources. Mining friendly jurisdiction, excellent road access, permit friendly BLM claims, 
and drill ready targets. These targets are drill ready. That is huge for junior miners. We love to identify junior miners that have what it takes to grow and expand and uplist and become a tier one big board miner. So we love that. Large land position, 48 kilometers squared, outcropping mineralization, and strongly altered and mineralized Jurassic intrusions. You can see the Dewdrop Moon, Copper, Gold, Nevada. And you can see the infrastructure, historical workings, geology, rock samples in copper, and rock samples in gold. Sampling in 2020 identified outcropping epider epithermal gold targets with up to 3.7 grams a ton gold and 4.3% copper associated with exotic copper oxide. Follow-up sampling in 2021 revealed several additional gold and copper anomalous zones with up to 2.8 grams a ton gold and 3.8% copper. Numerous historic adits and working discovered that we were not previously mapped. Expanded land positions east to encompass porphyry copper gold prospective geology model is analogous to Yarrington and Ann Mason, where the porphyry target occurs east of the epithermal target rather than at depth. Much of the area is untested and underexplored, which is why Zacapa Resources is going to explore it. This is the South Bullfrog. This is an area of focus that the CEO spoke of when we did our interview. There's a very big focus here. You can see here in Nevada, focusing on gold in this region. You can see the entire map there with the legend on the bottom left. This is an increasingly active gold district in the Walker Lane trend. Historic bullfrog mine produced 2.5. 33 million ounces of gold. Corvus North Bullfrog and Mother Load deposits contain M plus L resources of 3.7 million ounces of gold and 11.7, 11.8 million ounces of silver. District scale structures control mineralization. Several faults cut Zacapa property. Limited historical exploration despite favorable subaerial volcanic host rocks and alteration, numerous historic adits and pits. Much of the ground is concealed by alluvial cover and remains untested. Recent exploration success by Corvus undercover at Linda Strip. So you can see the results of Corvus and Augusta Gold in 2021 Canadian 25 million exploration program underway to the West, 1 million ounce maiden resource at Bullfrog as of July 14th, 2021. So you can see here, it's always important to understand who's in your zones, who's in your regions. You can see here Corvus Gold, the North Bullfrog deposit, 2.5 million ounces of gold, and they have a market cap of 520 million. Corvus Gold also has the mother load deposit, a 1.7 million ounce deposit of gold. And Augusta Gold also has a bullfrog deposit of 1.01 million ounces of gold with a 100 million market cap. Waterton has a deposit at reward with 427,000 ounces of gold. And Core Mining. A sterling deposit and 960,000 ounces of gold. So, huge opportunity here for Zacapa resources. You can see their areas of focus at the South Bullfrog in Nevada, focused on gold and the Airborne Magnetic Survey completed as of April 2021. The magnetic data suggests major structures present under alluvial cover in prospective host rocks. Initial fieldwork targeted historic workings in outcropping areas. Spectral analysis has highlighted areas which may be mostly concealed that are analogous 
to historic mines. And this is the Miller Mountain in Idaho focused on gold. You can see the historical workings. You can see the geology in the legend. You can see the property and the map in uh, Idaho. And it is 20 kilometers squared. Property lies within the regional trans chalice fault system, a zone of major rifting and crustal extensions containing numerous epithermal gold and silver deposits. 3 million ounce historical production. So historically, there's been 3 million ounces there. So typically, when you find these types of projects and you continue to drill, a lot of times you're going to find more. Property is a 7.5 million, uh, sorry, 7.5 kilometer strike length, including the historic Miller and Specimen Mines, and five kilometers northeast of the Boise Basin, which produced 2.5 million ounces gold. So very good history of finding deposits and pulling them out of the ground. This is the Miller Mountain in Idaho focused on gold. You can see the map there. You can see the legend on the left. You can see the map on the right and see who and the areas around it and all the other projects around it. Large hypothermal vein system with numerous veins, including quartz sulfide veins up to 50 meters thick, multiple high grade rock chip samples, up to 27 grams a ton gold. Historic drilling consists of 21 holes for 744 meters along 1.9 kilometer strike length at the specimen mine. Best intersection, 6.7 meters at 23.7 grams a ton gold. Test open cut mining in 1980s, averaged 2.4 grams a ton gold and 1.8 grams a ton silver from 1,319 tons. Two non-NI43101 historic resources on at Miller Mine and Specimen Mine open for expansion. Soil and base of regolith sampling underway and drill permitting is in progress. You can see the 50 meter wide quartz sulfide vein. There's a picture there, the bottom left, and right beside it, the specimen mine mineralized zone. This is the Tomochi in Colorado, focus of copper. And you can see the large polymetallic porphyry copper MO deposit developed through successful drill programs by Climax, Mollycorp, and Burnstone Ventures. And you can see the stats. Numerous mineral occurrences in the district, potential for high-grade mineralization, comparable to North Isle's North Island project, total endowment in two deposits, 944 MTs at million tons at 0.37% copper using 0.10% copper cutoff. And you can see all the stats there with a 30 million market cap. So contemplating completing a preliminary economic assessment followed by an infill and resource expansion drill program in Q3 of 2022, specifically targeting the hanging wall fault block. So expect that catalyst in Q3 of 2022. So you can see the 2021 and 2022 exploration program and catalysts. So South Bullfrog, which we talked about, the budget is $4 million. As of Q1, which we're in right now, they're doing drill testing. You can see here their Miller Mountain budget of 500,000. They're planning to do drill testing in Q2 of this year, 2022. The Red Top budget of 500,000. They did their drill testing in the last quarter of 2021 in Q4. You can see the Dewdrop Moon budget of 500K. They will be doing drill testing 
in Q2 of 2022. So lots of catalysts coming here, guys, for this new IPO. Make sure you put the capital resources on your radar, put them on your watch list. You can see the Pearl, a $250,000 budget, and they are going to be doing refining and focusing in Q2 of 2022. And you can see the Tamachi budget of 100K. They've already done vectoring in 2021. And in this quarter, they're doing a focus on refining and focusing. So a lot of catalysts coming for Zaka on the TSX Venture Exchange in Canada. ZakapaResources.com is the website. And feel free to contact them directly. Here's their contact details. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to put it in the chat, in the contents of the video in the description down below, or you can go and join richpicksdaily.com, join the chat rooms, join the chat where we can talk about Zacapa resources, and you can learn more about stocks 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can become a member, you can join the club, become a VIP member. You can also get access to our education center where VIP members get access to trade ideas 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also see all of our most active chats. You can see my personal watch lists for all the different sectors that exist. And you can see all the top financial news. This is the website. Once again, zakapparesources.com. Love to know what you guys think of the video. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live, bringing you Zakapa Resources, responsible exploration for the new energy economy company focused in America, in Arizona and Nevada, the world's best address for copper and gold.